What about making your sound better? Hey guys, this is Red Dead Roman from WA Production and uh, I'm back. I'm back with this new FL Studio series, I believe, of tutorials. One important thing, I learned some shortcuts in my program. So right now my webcam is really low in the here in this corner. Yeah. And Boom, I'm back in the center. <laughs> cool, right? And let me show you one more magic trick. At the moment, I can draw on the screen. So I'll be able to explain you more things, I believe. And in case I double click the screen, it zooms in. Dope, right? So <laughs> that's about it. That's about the new things. And now let's get uh, let's get to the tutorial part. In this video, we will take a look at affecting a cappella. I do have here an a cappella and, and an instrumental track. Um, you know, it's a perfect example for, for this tutorial because there are a lot of parts that, said, that have to be fixed. For example, the a cappella is of the tempo sometimes, it's of the key sometimes, and obviously we will have to um, affect it properly and you know glue it and everything to make it sound great because there are as you can see four um, four audio stems for uh, for vocal tracks uh, and you know you, you, these two tracks are like a lead vocal and these other two are our backing vocal so for example uh, right here you'll be able to hear the lead vocal say or think about you girl. and right here you have the backing vocals which are one octave higher say or think about you girl yeah you can also hear that the vocalist has his headphones really loud so the microphone also took the instrumental which is which really doesn't matter i mean you will get this type of acapellas all the time you will only be able to record kind of clean acapella in a professional studio um, in a like really pro pro studio in the regular studio there will be always this kind of noise in the background Say or think about you. it's really not a big deal you know this is this is kind of small noise so that's about it I'm going to play you some parts uh, from the track where the instrument a acapella uh, can be heard together and then we will concentrate on the on the other part of the track on the second part because this this one kind of this one is kind of okay so I won't be able to present you that, that many stuff that many things but there has to there have to be changed a lot of things there so to save time um, I've decided just to uh, work on the other half of the, of the track Say or think about you. Say or think about you, girl. Life is too short to worry about what I do. Say or think about you. And so on. You can be anyone that you want. You can reach your higher goals. Just believe it to yourself, and everything will be alright. Don't make the mistake to hold on to yourself. You can hear that um, the backing vocals are a bit off. I mean, they are not following the lead vocals, so that has to be fixed here. And uh, check this part. Say or think about you Life is too short to know about what others Say or think about you Life is too short to know about what others That's a lot of, of the tempo, right? So we will have to fix all of these little things I'm going to delete the first half Just like that It's all it's all tempo sync. I mean, or not tempo sync, but I'm in the correct tempo right now. So the BPM of the track and of the vocal is 150 BPM. 
Um, that's basically a very fundamental thing that you have to do <laughs> to find the right BPM for your track. And uh, what you have to do next is that you will select, you will go to this de-clicking mode and you will select generic or smooth or whatever. You just want to make sure that uh, in case you will cut the audio clip in half like that, FL Studio will create this, these little fade outs. Uh, let, me, let me do this. These little fade outs and fade ins. This is fade in, this is fade out. And these prevent the acapella from clipping. So you will be more likely able to um, cut the acapella and move the little parts so it will be more synced to the tempo. What you will do next is that you, or what you should do next is that you should um, divide these audio clips you should assign them to mixer channels. I assigned each of these clips to its own mixer channel. And then I took these four uh, vocal clips, vocal audio clips, and I wrote it all of them to one bus channel. Let's code it. Let's call it vocal. Is it bus or double S? I believe it's double S, hopefully. Uh, so I wrote it all of them to this one bus channel and that one is going straight to the master channel. You can see that I already loaded some um, plugins here, which can do the job for now. And um, so let's start working on the acapella. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, I, you know, a lot of vocalists are really like living in their own world, where, where the BPM is not the most important thing that they should follow, which it, it is because otherwise it sounds like this. It sounds like he's not listening to the track at all, or you know he's just lost sometimes. Sometimes he is, he is delayed. Sometimes he is singing earlier than he should do. You will hear it how the acapella goes. But right now he slowed this little part a lot. So in there he is in the tempo, and at the other half of the of this little melodic part he is really like of the of the of this bpm yeah so that that is why uh you should stretch it or in our case to make it more simple we will just you know cut it and move the parts so it fits the tempo Again, it's super delayed, it's super slow. Just believe it to yourself. To yourself. And that part already is delayed. A lot. Just believe it to yourself. And everything will be you know, the self a bit covers this part, but it, it sounds natural a bit. Just believe it to yourself and everything will be all Yeah, it, can, it can, can be like that. So I'm also going to cut these parts. You know, usually you will be able to see uh, that these empty parts over there can be moved. They, they really don't have to be there. So that save, that, that is doing the job for you to also see the waveform of the, of the track to also be able to recognize if you know what's what's wrong about the acapella not just to be able to hear it but you can also use your eyes to actually see what's going wrong what's going on there and you know what's wrongly recorded of the tempo or whatever just believe it to yourself and everything will be all right <laughs> still delayed these parts let me do it like this I'll move all of them. Maybe it would be better to stretch it in this case, but who cares? Will be all right. will be all right. Yeah. Just believe it to yourself and everything will be alright. Yeah. Don't make a mistake. Okay, and here is another perfect example of what you should do when you are tweaking the a cappella. You can see that the backing vocals started really late. You know, they are not following the lead vocals. So 
that is why I have to move them like that so they are synced with the lead vocal the steak <laughs> don't let me do you steak it's not like that right okay this these two are a bit delayed but you know that sounds that sounds good it sounds natural it doesn't have to be robotically synced all the time but um, these are very off the tempo again very off the lead vocal these two your these t's are just off so i will move them like this maybe oh even like this yeah. yeah and the self again is off you can see that i believe that self is in the lead vocal this part here's the lungs and here's the elf self. yeah self. okay cool so i'll move both of the uh, backing vocals like that and let's see what we will have here Into your sea, 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 into your sea. Because these are backing vocals, they will be really like somewhere in the background, so you can even cut some of the parts, you know, because these syllables, the S there, there were a lot of these, so I, there are like three S as is playing at the same time and uh, so I just cut it off one of one of them so there are just two of them to yourself. Dope. what I just did right here quickly is is that I panned both of these backing vocals one a bit to the right the other a bit to the left and this is just just a noise that we don't need there so it synced to the tempo now um, it, it doesn't take that much time. I mean, you have to practice it a bit to be able to see what's going on there and to be able to hear what's going on there and to be able to recognize if you are doing it right or wrong and if the singer is singing it right or wrong. Obviously, that's the most important part, part right? And um, that's about for it now. And in the next video, you know, to make the, these videos bit shorter not you know I, I really don't want you to uh, make this make the series boring for you so in the next video we will take a look at tuning the acapella which will be fun because we'll be using new tone and uh, maybe picture who knows who knows so thank you for watching and uh, see you soon that's what I wanted to say bye